Okay, on this one we're going to work a little bit of uh, trapping off of a jab. So off your lead jab, when the guy defends it, you just go into a, a couple trapping uh, methods from here. So if I bring Mike out, if I throw a lead uh, jab and you're following, you know, uh, let's say he parries with his lead hand, you can use what's called the ball and socket principle here. So your, your jab is being taken offline, you just come around from here and then you can obviously go into more trapping or chick chung choy or elbows or knees or head butts or boxing methods or kicking whatever it is so you're going one you continue your pressure forward and leaving a gap so you can see it and then press it as you go in and whatever hits you're going to uh, go from there then the next one is if he parries with the rear hand you're going to shoot your body forward and use the bong sal as you're shifting forward so this one's a little tricky because you have to move the body behind your jab. If you go like this, snap the jab and your body's back here, you have to move the body forward to get into that position. So as you're retracting, it's like your body's going into it. So as you're moving, your arm would retract off the jab. So if you're, if you're jabbing, your arm's going to retract. But in this case, as it's retracting, the body's moving forward, so you still have the pressure here with the hinge principle of Bong Sao, and then coming back into the, uh, the strikes. So when you're doing this, um, move a little bit. So somebody's going to say out there, because it's YouTube, if, if he parries the lead hand, can't you just punch him here? Yeah, sure. If he parries the lead hand, can't you just tap him? Yeah, you can do that too. You can do a lot of things, but right now the one you're working is going one, ball and socket, coming in here, and back. So your arm is moving in this kind of position. So it's moving in the first one. It's circling around, so you keep in cohesion. You don't want it to go too far out this way. If the arm starts pushing way out this way, it's not going to be the right motion to use. So you keep cohesion here as you're sticking and coming back. And of course, it can be eye jabs or uh, throat hits or other strikes. On the rear one, you could also shoot the finger jab in here. So as it goes here, you can withdraw the first hand and continue on the finger jab because on finger jabs, you don't need much power. So as you jab, shoot this, and it could be a chung choy finger jab, throat hit as you move forward. And then, of course, finish with your uh, whatever strikes you want to do, whether it's, again, elbows or knees. or So here could be hinge principle, striking. There could be the ball and socket on the front hand. Sorry, <laughs> moving this way and coming in. Okay, so that's a little bit off the lead jab, keeping and going into trapping, keeping the cohesion.